Welcome to the beautiful Casa Limones in Vieques, Puerto Rico. Let's start in child's pose. Bring your knees wide, your toes to touch. Extend the fingertips forward. Feel free to shift around a little bit here. Focus your attention on your breath. Inhaling in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, squeezing out all the air in your lungs. Settling in for your practice today. Inhaling up to seal pose, pulling your heart through the gateway of your shoulders. Shifting back and forth from child's pose, rounding your back up. Roll out your ankles and neck and seal. Do that a few times, three or four times. Working out any kinks, starting to move your body, rolling out your ankles, finding your way into a tabletop shape. So you're just going to stack your joints, shoulders over wrists, hips are over knees. Inhale into cow, drop the belly, lift your heart. Exhale as you round and tuck. Drop the hips back to the heels. Press into your arms, pulling back into cow pose. Exhale, round your back, hips to heels. Again, press into your forearms, pulling yourself forward. A couple more times following this sequence. Finding a little more articulation in the spine through cow and cat. Bring your hips stacked over your knees. This is Anahata puppy pose. Walk your hands out. Just keep in mind that the alignment is hips straight over your knees. Maybe your forehead comes to the floor, maybe not. And walk your hands back into that tabletop shape again. Inhale the right arm high, roll out your wrist. Thread the needle, bring the right arm through, your palm is up. Your left hand can stay where it is or walk forward. And maybe extending the left leg back, if that feels good. I kind of like it when both knees are down, but a little more weight is into the right knee. Puts a little bit more into the twist. Coming out of it like you came into it, inhale right arm high, back to tabletop. Inhale left arm high. Exhale, thread it underneath, slide your fingertips. Walk your hand forward, your right hand forward, right leg back. And bring both knees down, leaning this time into the left side, left knee a little bit more into the twist. Walk your right hand back, inhale, left arm high that wrist and we'll come back to tabletop. Walk your hands forward, feet back and come onto your belly. Coming up to your fingertips, keeping your toenails down. Inhale, press it up into cobra pose, bhujangasana, shoulders back and down. Exhale to lower. So you're only coming up to a point that feels good in your lower back. Inhale, peel it up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, pulling it up, open through your heart, exhale to lower. Inhale, pull it up, drop your right shoulder and gaze over your left. Inhale up, drop your left shoulder and gaze over your right. Inhale back to Cobra, exhale lower down. Bring the hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes, press it back to tabletop. But this time, tuck your toes under, pressing into your toes, reach forward, and then walk your hands back to your knees. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your back. 
press the knuckles to the floor and maybe they lift. Open through your chest and collarbone. Any rotation in the neck that feels good. Come up to your knees and come off the toes, rolling out your toes. Toenails down. This is a child's pose variation with your knees together and arms extended behind you. Bringing the hands to your lower back and then just let them fall to your sides. Child's pose. Let's come back up into that plank position. Really active here, pushing the floor away, protracting the shoulder blades. Think about drawing up through your kneecaps here to create strength in your quadriceps. And rock back and forth. So you're rocking back and forth, finding a little bit of stretch in the wrists. I'm going to bring your left knee to the mat and kickstand it out. Line up your left knee and your right toes and your left shoulder. Rotate through your shoulder joint and then hold that stretch right arm up and over your ear line, spinning the ribs towards the sky. Drop that hand, walk it to the, to the side of your mat. Now the knee and ankle are in line and you're gonna just press back and forth up over the wrists, press it back. So you can be on, on the heel of your right foot or press the toes down. And then we'll come into a static stretch here, leaning the hips back towards the heels as low as your knee is comfortable with. Inhaling, come back up and we're just gonna stand on your left leg up and over into gate pose. So the right hand is to your shin and thigh, the left arm is arcing over, lengthening the side body. Inhale, let's come back around. Cross your right leg behind your left and walk your feet out. You're gonna keep the toes a little flexed and sit between the heels if that's available. If not, that's okay to keep your hips high. Reach forward, this is cow face pose. You should feel a nice little tug on both sides of your hip flexors here. come back up back into that plank position nice and strong this time we'll bring the right shin down but before we do that rock back and forth again on the wrists really strong through your fingers make sure you're using your fingers here and then we'll kickstand the right leg out left foot in line circle around the left shoulder socket until you lengthen through the fingertips, the left palm facing down, left side of your ribs reaching towards the sky. Drop the shoulder, walk it around, and we'll rock back and forth. So that starting position is just the shoulders over the wrists coming forward, and then finally holding that stretch hips towards heels. back up inhale arms go up left hand down arc it over into gate pose palm down finding space between your right hip and your lower ribs drop the right shoulder walk it around lifting the left leg up and over the right walk the feet out S send it back cow face pose on this side just the depth just depends on your knees really so you don't want to find pain in the knees a little uncomfortable in the hips for sure
come back up to your plank position. Pushing the floor away. This time flipping one wrist at a time to stretch the wrist in the other direction. You can do them both at the same time or one at, one at a time. And then drop to your knees as you rock back and forth, stretching the wrists. And then bending the elbows, you'll get the fingers. Spending a little bit of time on the tops of your hands. I like to press my other hand into the palm of my hand to create a little tension. And then when you're ready, we're going to come up to downward facing dog. Send the hips high and focus your attention on lengthening the spine. Far more important than the heels touching. So we're trying to get that roundness out of the upper back and pedal it out. Again, if both knees are bent, you can really exaggerate that lengthening of the spine. Inhale up to your toes. Exhale to plank, and then bend your knees, wave it back. So just a few times, waving through the spine. On the inhale, coming to, to plank with protracted shoulders, bending the knees, spiraling the spine back to downward dog. Inhale the right leg high. You can bend the knee, open up the hip as you walk to the top of the mat. Slowly coming to the top of the mat. Just kind of organically moving, opening the hips, setting one foot in front of the other. Coming into ragdoll, trying to send the hips high. Bend the knees as much as needed here. You do not want to lock out your, your knees. And you do want to keep that spine length. Grab opposite elbows, or you can keep the hands on the floor. Just do give yourself a little bit of time here to release your spine. Release your hamstrings. No tension in the neck. And maybe a little neck traction, interlacing the hands behind the base of your skull. You're not pulling down on the head. And then a shoulder stretch if you'd like, clasping the hands behind your back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Come on up, bend the knees first. Interlaced hands open through your heart, bringing the feet either together or hip width. Inhale, release the arms up. Exhale, little cactus, open the heart. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank. Toes or knees, chaturanga. Flip over the toes, up dog, or feel free to come down and repeat cobra. Take your time here. We'll meet in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Shorten up your stance about one footprint. Bend your knees. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left calf and twist. So you're using your bicep of the right arm to create that twist. Bend the knees, come out, and we'll do the other side. Spiraling using the bicep to create that twist. Bend the knees, come back, step it back to downward dog so you're in that inverted V. And then step to the top of the mat, inhales, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana Mountain, exhale, heart opener. Inhale, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, high plank, toes or knees, chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog or cobra. 
Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog. This time, inhale to your toes. And then as you exhale, drop your heels to the right. Now press your chest towards your thigh bones, just like you would in Down Dog to create length. Inhale, toes. Exhale to the left. Inhale to toes. Back down to plank. Hold it here. Really fire up the core. Fire up the legs. Let's come back to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, hug the knee to your nose and step it through to low lunge, lining the knee and the ankle. Left hand down, right arm high. Twisted low lunge. Bring your left knee down. Reach the back of your space. Bend your left leg. Maybe you can grab the big toe side and twist. Maybe not. Maybe you're just reaching for it. Bring it back to twisted low lunge. Place your right hand on the outside of your right foot. Drop your left heel so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Left hand to sky. So it's a variation of extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Your next exhale, extended side angle. Elbow to knee or hand on the inside. Left arm over the ear line. Reach. Inhale, reverse. Floating here. Exhale, extended. Inhale, reverse. Exhale to extended side angle. Inhale, star. Reach up. Toes point out. Palms to heart. Goddess squat. Bring your hands to your knees. Open your heart. Dip your left shoulder gaze over your right. Inhale, open through your heart. Dip the right shoulder gaze over your left. Inhale, center. Twist one more time to the right. Inhale, center. To the left. Inhale, center. Bring the hands to heart, knees tracking. Lower down, bring the hands to the floor, bring your feet parallel and fold. If it's accessible, grab the outsides of your feet. Use your biceps to create more space in your hamstrings. Kind of fluid here, side to side. Bring your hands under your shoulders, halfway lift. Walk to the back of your mat into low lunge. And then shortening up your stance, coming into pyramid fold. So your back foot's at about a 45 degree angle. You can come onto your left heel, but square up your hips by pulling your left hip back, your right hip forward. And there's a micro bend in your left knee. Walk it back through center, and we're gonna come into pyramid facing the front. Square up the hips. So it's like you can put a glass of water on your sacrum, that flat part of your back. And the hinge is coming from the right hip crease. Let's come to low lunge. Step it back. High plank or ekapada. That's with one leg lifted. Chaturanga or all the way down. Cobra or up dog. To downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose. Step it through to low lunge. Right hand down. Left hand high. So the arms are 12 and 6. Then bring your right knee to the floor. Reach the back wall. Reach four or maybe grab the pinky toe. Opening and twisting here. Arms at 12 and 6. Left hand down. Extended side angle variation. That back foot's parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, launching up into reverse warrior. 
on your next exhalation, come into a normal extended. So elbow to knee or hand to the floor. And we'll float here. Inhale, reverse. Keep that left knee angle where it is. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended. Reaching through the left hand, then the right, toes point out. Star to goddess, hands to heart this time. Keep moving the knees backward. Inhale, we'll lengthen up, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goddess. Lower down, hands to floor, hips high, toes parallel. Grab the outsides of the feet or big toes. If that's available, use the biceps to crease, create a little more stretch in the hamstrings. Strings, tailbone is high. Walk around to the back of your mat, pyramid fold. Adjusting your hips as needed, coming to the heel of the right foot if that feels okay. forward, walk it around through center, pyramid facing the back of the mat, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold at that left hip crease. Left hip crease is drawing back, right hip crease is coming forward to create that flat sacrum. Step it back, Ekapada high plank, Chaturanga or all the way down, Cobra or up dog, Adomga downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Step it through to low lunge. Inhale, right arm high. Extended side angle variation. Inhale, reverse. Extended side angle. Hand on the inside and we'll flow. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Now straightening your left leg, hinge forward, hand to shin or floor, trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Rebend the left knee, windmill down, low lunge to twist it, extended variation. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended standard. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Warrior two to the front. Straighten the front leg. Inhale to reach. Exhale, triangle pose. Hand to floor or shin. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. Windmill down. High plank. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha Spanasana. Now we'll repeat that, but we're going to start with the left leg. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Right hand planted, left arm high. Twisted. Left hand planted, right arm high. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, standard extended. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, straighten the leg. Trikonasana. Pause it here and then inhale, reverse. Rebend the front knee. Low lunge. Left hand down. Inhale, twisted low lunge. Right hand down. Left hand high. Extended. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended standard. 
Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Straighten the leg, track. Inhale, trikonasana. Exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, windmill down, ekapada, or high plank without it, chaturanga, or down, up dog, to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes. Inhale, plank. Lower down. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down. Inhale, plank. You can always put your knees down here. Exhale, down. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, plank. And back to downward facing dog. A little bit of heat there. So we're going to start our plank vinyasa series. Inhale, right leg high. Knee to nose. And then step the foot gracefully on the inside of the right foot. Left hand down, twisted low lunge. This time, step the right foot onto the left into a side plank. Drop the right foot, bring the left hand to your heart. Inhale up into wild thing variation. Bring your right hand down, swing it all the way around. Right leg extends, either lifted or on the floor, fallen triangle. Left hand down, knee to nose. Right leg high. Chaturanga. Up dog. Or any variation of vinyasa, and you can always take it out. Left side, inhale, left leg high, exhale, knee to nose, step the foot forward, inhale, twisted low lunge, slide the left leg on top of the right, plank, Vashistasana, left knee behind, drop your hips, inhale, lengthen it up, wild thing variation, swing the left hand around, swing all the way around, fall in triangle. Left hand down, left leg high, plank, chaturanga, up dog, to downward facing dog. Again, inhale right leg high, knee to nose, step it through. Left hand down, inhale twisted, exhale vashistasana, side plank. Bend the right leg, drop the hips, hand to heart. Inhale, expand into wild thing. Drop the shoulder, place the right hand, swing it around. Trikonasana for three, two, and one. Left hand down, knee to nose, ekapada, plank, chaturanga. Both toes down for up dog, pressing it back, adho mukha down dog. Inhale. Left leg high. Knee to nose through to low lunge. Right hand down. Inhale twisted. Exhale. Left leg slides onto the right. Vashistasana. Left leg bends. Drop the hips. Hand to heart. Inhale. Expand. Wild thing. Dropping the left shoulder, swing it all the way around. Right arm high, Bashi stuff, or I'm sorry, ball and triangle. Ekapada plank, chaturanga, up dog to downward dog. Hips high. One more set here. Inhale, the right leg high. Knee to nose, place the foot on the inside of your right thumb. Left hand down, inhale, extend arms 12 and 6. Exhale, Vashistasana, side plank. Inhale, back knee, drop the hips, hand to heart. Inhale, wild thing. Bring the left hand down, swing it around. 
right hands down, left hands high, tr triangle, fallen triangle. Bring the left hand down, knee to nose, ekapada high plank, tataranga, urdhva mukha svanasana, adho mukha svanasana. Last one. Inhaling, left leg high, knee to nose, step it through. Right hand down, left hand high, inhale. Exhale, Vashistasana. Bring the left leg behind, drop the hips, left hand to heart. Expand the wild thing. Drop the left shoulder, left hand down, right hand high. Left leg kicks through, ball and triangle. Hand down, knee to nose, Ekapada Chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Couple breaths. Inhale the right leg high. Step it through to low lunge. Right arm high. Vashistasana. So this time we're going to add a couple of things. Drop the hips, hands to heart. Extend up, but we're going to lower back down. Bring your left leg. A little open and your right knee down. We're going to come to Janu Shrasasana. Arms up. Reach for the left leg and fold forward. Rise up. Turn towards your right knee. Bring your left elbow on the inside of the left thigh. Side body stretch. Right arm up and over. Spinning the right ribs towards the sky. Bringing it back down, swing it all the way around. So it's going to be your right leg through, right hand down, left hand high, ball and triangle. Then bring both hands to the floor. We're going to come to half pigeon. Setting up your right shin, you can hold your foot with your left hand. A few heart openers here, fingertips down. Inhale as you lift and expand through your chest. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift, exhale to lower, and come into your sleeping pigeon. Now, if you have knee pain, you can do this on your back in a figure four position. It's a little less pressure on your knee. Coming back to plank, come down, inhale, cobra, exhale, lower, inhale, plank to down dog. Let's do the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Low lunge. Twist. Vashistasana. Left knee behind, left foot behind. Come down, expand up just once. And then we come back down. Widen up your right leg and then drop the left knee. Hinging straight forward, reaching for your right leg. Come on up. Right triceps going to push into your right thigh. Oblique stretch here, left arm up and over the ear line. Come back through, swing it around, left leg's going to come through, left hand down, fall in triangle, right hand down, set your half pigeon, right leg is going to be along the side of your mat, inhale to lift up, exhale to lower down, inhale to lift up, exhale to lower down, inhale to lift up, this time Lowering down into fallen, not fallen, into sleeping pigeon. Again, knee pain, not okay. You can do this on your back. Not going to be here too long.
hands under your shoulders. This time, come around into a straddle. And I want you to hinge forward, kind of spill your pelvis forward. Slight bend in the knees, a little flex in the toes. Walk the hands out. Maybe they don't come, maybe your chest doesn't come all the way down. That's fine. You're still, still going to feel this stretch in the hamstrings. And just find your breath here. Three more breaths. Walk the hands back up. Bend your left leg. Let's just come back to plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. And then cross the arms in front of you, resting your head on the tops of your hands. Coming into a shoulder stretch. Bring your right cheek to the mat, extend your right arm out parallel to the top of the mat and using your left hand to lift off, bring your left hand or your left leg behind and maybe your left hand behind. Just move your head around a little bit to find a comfortable spot. And the top leg, mine is straight, but yours can be bent if that feels better. Take time to adjust so you feel the stretch along the right shoulder, finding that most surface area you can. And connect with your breath. Coming out of it, lift the left arm high, reaching the right arm, swinging it back around, and we'll do the other side. So left cheek to the mat, left hand extended, fingers spread wide. Use the right hand to come up and over. Then right arm high, wrapping it around, back of the hand to the small of the back or even tucking it underneath the hip. Find a position to place your head so your neck is not compromised. And again, connect with your breath. And coming out, right arm toward the sky, reaching briefly further left hand, come back around, bend your knees, windshield wiper, legs from side to side. Coming into a prone Shavasana, so just keeping, uh, staying on the belly with the hands crossed, resting the head on your hands. If you prefer to come onto your back for Shavasana, please feel free to do that. Try to soften into this posture, relaxing the eyes, the jaw. Coming into stillness. Staying in your Shavasana, prone or on your back, as long as you'd like. It's a true honor to guide you through this practice in this beautiful place in Vieques, Puerto Rico. Thank you so much for your energy and your effort.
in gratitude. Be strong, be kind, and be brave. Namaste.